everybody, I'm Hillary Howard. This is the opening round. You know how it works. Each team begins with 100 points. 10 up for a right answer, 10 down for a wrong answer. Contestants in the studio don't see what you do on the screens at home. Let's begin. Before the age of drones and FedEx delivery still got made, it just took a little longer. See if you can identify the following, real and fictional, all associated with some kind of delivery. From 1860 to 1861, TC? Pony Express? Yeah. She brought water to American soldiers at the Battle of TC. Clara Barton? Yeah. Clara and, Barton? No, Molly Pitcher. Last June, this team delivered the Stanley Cup to its DC. The Capitals. The awesome Capitals. In 1789, he smuggled plans of England's textile machinery into the U.S. The answer is Samuel Slater. Answers linked to deliveries. This bird brought an olive branch to Noah after the buoy. Uh, dove? Yes. This man was the religious leader who delivered the Mormons safely to T.C. Uh, bring them. Yeah, yeah. Young? Yeah. This queen had herself wrapped in a rug and delivered to Julius T.C. Cleopatra? Correct. Theodipides ran 26 miles to T.C. Marathon? Marathon is right, and that's the end of the round. It's Academic with Hillary Howard. Now in its 58th season. And for 50 years, proudly sponsored by Giant. Hello, everybody. We're so glad you're here with us this morning, spending some of your Saturday with us. It is time to meet these fine teams. And we begin with Edison High School from Alexandria. Uh, Gabby, tell us about yourself today. Well, hello, my name's Gabby, and I'm a 12th grade senior. I'd like to thank our alternates for coming and supporting us. All righty, how you doing, Griffin? Hi, my name's Griffin. I am a 17-year-old senior, and I would like to thank Mr. Pandan, our coach, for coming out to see us, and also Ms. Brumfield, our principal, for coming out to see us. Great, and Hussein? Hi, my name is Hussein. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd also like to thank our alternates, Hayden and Shayna. Uh, she didn't, Shayna couldn't be here today, but uh, she's with us in our hearts. Aw, that's very sweet. Here we go. Walks to machine. You can walk toward 20 points if you find in this phrase the name of what digestive organ of the body? Stomach. Stomach? Yes. Here the word end appears in the middle of the name of what monster who inspires terror in Beowulf? Grendel. Yeah. True crime and punishment. This isn't right. Please eliminate one word to make this Dostoevsky title correct. True. Yeah. Amazon, Boeing, Standard Oil. Here you see three corporations that have had a major impact in America. Please arrange them in chronological order according to the dates they were founded. Standard Oil, Boeing, Amazon. You've got it. A new birth of freedom. These words were spoken by Abraham Lincoln in 1863 as part of a speech, speech made at what Pennsylvania battlefield? Gettysburg. It is Gettysburg. Nice job, Edison. 200 points. <laughs> From Alexandria, T.C. Williams. Griffin, what's going on? Hi, I'm Griffin. I'm an 18-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank our alternate Emna and the rest of our team for being here today. All righty. Hello, Mark. Hi, my name is Mark Bailey. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank all the producers of this show and Giant for their support. Yay, Giant. And producers. <laughs> and Kelly, how are you? Hi, my name's Kelly. I'm a 17-year-old junior, and I'd like to thank our coach, Mr. Zahn, and our principal, Mr. Ballas, for coming out and supporting us today. All righty. Afghan oil well. Instead of Afghan oil well, see if you can find hidden in this phrase what capital of Vietnam? Hanoi. That's it. Fill in the blanks here and you can name what big sea creature that is also the largest mammal? Whale. Yeah, it's a whale. The Countdown of Monte Cristo. No, this is wrong. Please eliminate one word to make this Alexander Dumas title correct. Uh, down. Down, yes. Phoebe Penelope Pandora. Which of these women from Greek mythology opened a box and let all the troubles of the world escape? Pandora. That's right. 
We have guided missiles and misguided men. This observation comes from what civil rights leader honored by a federal holiday in January? Martin Luther King Jr. Right, T.C. Williams, 240 points. From Bowie, Maryland, Bowie High School, Brianna, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Brianna. I'm a 17-year-old senior. I'd like to thank our family for coming out to support us, our friends, and all their support throughout the process. All righty, Connor. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm a 17-year-old senior at Bowie. I'd like to thank our terrific coach, Mr. Morris, for all of his help and support. All right, and Donovan. Hello, I'm Donovan. I'm a 17-year-old senior, and I'd like to thank Giant Foods. Yay, Giant. Here we go. Lulu ran usually. You can run with 20 points if you find hidden here the name of what planet seventh from the sun? Uranus? Yeah, that's it. Roo is an animal from Winnie the Pooh, but add some more letters and you'll name what miser from Dickens is A Christmas Carol? Scrooge. Scrooge it is. The Hip Hobbit. Um, please eliminate one word here to make this Tolkien title correct. Hip. Hip. <laughs> right. Florida secedes. Paul Revere born. France joins UN. These three events all took place in January, but in different centuries. Please arrange them in chronological order. Um, Revere is born. Florida succeeds, or secedes, and France joins UN. You're right. What use could this company make of an electrical toy? This was the comment of the president of Western Union when offered the rights to what new invention of Alexander Graham Bell? The telephone? It was a telephone. Nice job, Bowie. 210 points. We'll be right back. Everybody, it's time for the picture perfect round. But before we begin, let's recap the scores. Edison, 200 points. TC Williams, 240. Bowie, 210. <laughs> By the way, today's contestants will receive the book Over the Line The Art and Life of Jacob Lawrence, whose migration paintings are featured at the Phillips Collection. America's first museum of modern art located near DuPont Circle in Washington. And while they're at the Phillips Collection, please go to Facebook, check out our page, and like us. In this round, questions are worth 20 points, up or down, all visuals, so look at your screens for the clues. And here we go. The center of this galaxy is probably a collapsed star, resulting in a phenomenon known by what two-word phrase indicating not even light can escape its gravity? TC. Black hole. Yeah, black hole. If you followed these coordinates, you would arrive at what circular structure of monoliths standing on Salisbury, TC? Stonehenge. Stonehenge it is. To see these birds in their natural habitat, you'd have to go to the Seychelles Islands in what third largest ocean? TC. Pacific. Answer? Indian. Indian? Yep, it's Indian. How much tax would you pay on an $80 purchase, TC? $4. $4 is right. This tiger, which can eat over 100 pounds of meat in just one sitting, is named for what cold region of Russia, TC? Siberia. Yes. Looking very presidential here is what 10th chief executive, the first one to succeed, Edison. Tyler. Tyler is right. Seashells are a carbonate formed by mollusks whose blood contain what element with atomic number 20 and symbol CA? T.C. Williams. Calcium. Yeah. A French motto meaning, I remember, adorns a badge for troops from what Canadian province that has a buoy? Quebec. Quebec is right. And that's the end of the round.
To honor the memory of its academics creator, we're presenting the 2019 Sophie Altman Coach of the Year Award. Established by Giant Food, the award is a tribute to all its academic coaches. To learn how to nominate your coach, check our website, itsacademicshow.com. It's itsacademicquizshow.com. <laughs> You know it takes a lot to be on It's Academic. Let's meet the coaches and faculty that help prepare students for competition. We begin with Edison High School. Griffin, who's with you? All right, to my right is our principal, Ms. Brumfield. She, she uh, came out here today to support us. And to, our, to my left is Mr. Penn and our wonderful coach. Very nice to have you. From T.C. Williams, Mark, who's with you? On my right is our principal, Mr. Ballas, and towering over me on our left <laughs> is our coach, Mr. Zahn, who teaches English. Great, guys. Nice to see you. And from Bowie, Connor? Uh, right behind me is our coach and our AP U.S. government and AP comparative government teacher, Mr. Morris. Good to see you, Mr. Morris. It's time for the packet round. We have these three manila packets. Edison gets to answer questions from one of them first. T.C. Williams gets to choose which packet they'll answer questions from. What's it going to be, T.C. Williams? One, please. One. There are eight questions in this packet. If you get them all right, a 25-point bonus. One study has found that you'll stay healthier if you avoid making what type of statements that made Pinocchio's nose grow? Lies. Lies, yeah. Very few people have a kind word to say about what kind of insect, some of which can transmit malaria. Mosquito. Mosquito. Yeah. Mosquito. Yes. <laughs> if you Googled Greenland, you'd find out that the island was first colonized by what Norse explorer called the Red? Eric. Eric is correct. Here's your science question. Paramecium, amoeba, algae. Which of these is not generally classified as a member of the phylum protozoa? Algae. Algae is it. The fewer the words, the better the prayer, said what Protestant religious leader who used more than a few words to write the 95 theses he posted in 1517? Martin Luther. Correct. What British author served up the restaurant at the end of the universe as one of several sequels to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Ernest Hemingway? No, it's Douglas Adams. Here's your math question. Evaluate this expression, giving your answer as a positive integer. Five. Yes. President Andrew Jackson ordered several military attacks on what tribe of Florida Indians? Whose most famous leader was Osceola? Cherokee. No, it was the Seminoles. But nice job, Edison. 340 points. <laughs> it's time for T.C. Williams to play. Bowie, pack it two or three for them. Three. Three. The ancient Greek playwright Aeschylus supposedly died when a tortoise was dropped on his head by what bird, the symbol of the United States? Eagle. Eagle it is. In addition to elaborate ball gowns, fancy milkmaid outfits worn by what French queen who... I'm, let me do that again. In addition to elaborate ball gowns, fancy milkmaid outfits were worn by what French queen who lost her wardrobe and her head in the French Revolution? Marie Antoinette. Yes. Leonard Jerome and Clara Hall were the American grandparents of what World War II British Prime Minister who was himself made an honorary U.S. citizen? Churchill. Yes, it was Winston Churchill. Here's your science question. The atmosphere, mitosis of cells, rocket firing sequences. The terms prophase, metaphase, and telophase are correctly applied to which of these phenomena? Mitosis. Yeah. Critics dubbed President Warren Harding wobbly Warren because of his changing stance on what international organization that preceded the United Nations? The League of Nations. It was the League of Nations. You'll meet hundreds of characters with long Russian names in the long novel War and Peace by what Russian author whose own name was relatively short? Tolstoy. Tolstoy is right. Here's your math question. 81, 27, 9, 3, blank. What is the next number in this geometric sequence? One. 
One, it is. The words definer of a nation title a biography of what man who served as the fourth Chief Justice of the United States. Answer? Taney? No, it's John Marshall, but nice job. T.C. Williams, 500 points. Packet number two for Bowie. In 1630, the ship Arbella brought settlers to what Massachusetts city that sailed into history because of its witch trials? Salem? Yes. Several animal species, including polar bears, are threatened by rapidly diminishing amounts of ice in what northernmost ocean? Arctic. Arctic, Arctic it is. <laughs> Cooks have long known that egg whites beat up better in a bowl made of what element whose chemical symbol is CU? Copper. Copper, isn't that interesting? I didn't know that. Here's your science question. Koala, shrew, otter. Which of these creatures is a marsupial? Koala. Koala, koala is correct. Prior to the Revolutionary War, Sam Adams and other colonists kept in touch through what committees whose name suggests an exchange of letters? Answer is correspondence. The last time Easter Sunday fell on April 15th was in what year named in the title of Arthur C. Clarke's story about a space odyssey? 2001. Yeah. Here's your math question. If X equals 4, what is the value of the reciprocal of this expression? 64. 64 is, is right. The first Elizabeth to be an American First Lady was the wife of what fifth president whose name is associated with a historic 1823 doctrine? Monroe. You are right. Nice, Bowie. 370 points. We have the grab back round next, so don't go away. Now everyone at home should get ready for another year of Giants A-plus school rewards program. You can earn points and help local schools every time you use your Giant card. Thanks to you, Giant Food has been able to award over $36 million to thousands of schools since 2000. Signing up for your Giant card is easy. Simply go to GiantFood.com or stop by the Customer Solutions Center at any Giant store. Experience the magic of A-plus school rewards each time you shop and help your local schools. important grab bag round where absolutely anything can happen. Let's recap the scores first. Edison 340, TC Williams 500, Bowie 370. As you know, questions are worth 20 points up or down in this round. The visual questions are worth 30 points. Let's go. In the U.S., most cases of rabies aren't caused by dogs, but what flying mammals? Edison, yes, well, you're right, bats. When an assassin made an attempt on his life, Andrew Jackson blamed what political party that opposed Jackson and T.C. Williams? Wigs. Wig is it. Edgar Allan Poe's The Telltale Heart and Dostoevsky's Crime and Punishment both describe a man's self-torture after committing what brutal T.C.? Murder. Murder is right. On your screens for 30 points. This vintage car was manufactured in what same year that marked Lindbergh's solo flight to Paris? T.C. Williams? Answer? In 27. Uh, Sorry, no. Uh, what is the maximum number of points at which two distinct circles may intersect? Bowie. Two. Two is correct. An old Gaelic phrase meaning little body gives us what name for the mythical buoy? Leprechaun. Yeah, leprechauns. Our first state university was chartered in 1785 in what southern state founded by James Oglethorpe? T.C. Williams. Georgia. Georgia is correct. On your screens for 30 points. Civilization and profits go hand in hand. These are the words of what 30th U.S. president who served Edison? Coolidge. Coolidge, yes. Located in New Orleans, there is a sanctuary for retired apes of what species? 
Buoy. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees, yeah, choice. The second law of thermodynamics asserts that the spontaneous flow of heat is from a hotter to colder object, from a TC? From a hotter to a colder object. That's right. A student saying the two gentlemen in the title of a Shakespeare play might do research in what Italian city? T.C. Williams. Verona. Two gentlemen of Verona. You're right. On your screens for 30 points. This is Gascoigne's Cowrie, a mollusk native to what F initialed Pacific Island nation? Buoy. Um, Pharaoh? No, Fiji is what we were looking for. In international Morse code, a signal of four dashes and one dot represents what largest single digit integer? T.C. Williams. Nine. Yeah, it's nine. In 29 BC, the Roman Senate awarded a triple triumph to what great nephew and heir of Julius Caesar? Edison. Augustus. Uh, yep, you are right. In 1790, all applications for patents had to be approved by what Secretary of State? A future president who himself, T.C. Williams. Answer? Oh, yeah. yeah, you got it on the bell. Jefferson, nice job. That's the end of the game. We begin with Bowie High School from Bowie, Maryland. Brianna Connor Donovan, 400 points. From Fairfax County, Edison High School, Gabby Griffin and Hussein, 410 points. And coming back for the playoffs, Alexandria's T.C. Williams. Griffin, Mark, and Kelly, 610 points. Please join us next Saturday when we have St. Albans, Wakefield, and Washington Public, Washington Latin Public Charter. I always invert words. Anyway, so happy you were with us today. See you next week. Come on down, everybody.